here's the story, and and you'll appreciate this because it, it's it's linked to Bakersfield, but not actually. Uh, we were we were playing a show in Ventura, California, and oh, Mikey's played there. We were playing with Pat. Yeah. So, oh, nice, no, cool. Yeah, yeah. Pat was promoting the show. Who he's great, by the way. Um, so we show up, and it's like you know the place is called the Sewer, which we were not really sure why. And then we walk in, and, and then we knew why. And then we knew why quickly. <laughs> but we're yeah. looking around the place and looking at each other like, where the fuck are we supposed to put our shit? Like, right. was this like an acoustic gig? Did Pat tell us, to, you know, I didn't bring my cup home is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> right, right, right. And so Pat comes up to us, you know, what's up, guys? We said hey to him. And he's like, all right, you guys are just going to set up in this little, like, alcove situation, which is legit six feet deep by, you know, 10 feet wide, and my drums are 10 feet wide. Six feet deep by 10 feet wide. Yeah, they're they're that big. (laughs) So I'm already irritated, okay? (laughs) And then he's like, but the first act is an acoustic, and we're like, that makes sense. So just put your shit in the bathroom, which is directly to the left-hand side of the stage, the Mm. stage, right? So we're like, we're going to put our thousands of dollars of gear into this literal bathroom that people are still using, by the way, <laughs> and wait to set up. So we finally get a you know spot to set up. We set up. I'm cla- getting claustrophobia, right? So we set up. We you know start plugging in. Elijah turns on his amplifier, and the entire place goes black. Power out. Boom. Oh, that's Nuts. awesome, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Side note, that is the third time that I have uh, single-handedly blown the fuse on an entire establishment. And (laughs) one was Concerts in the Park in Sacramento, literally the biggest local outdoor festival. I blew a a whole fuse box. I remember hearing about that, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I remember (laughs) that too. It was awesome. So anyway, but apparently this had happened at this place before because as soon as it went black, the bartender goes, I got it, and then like runs out and puts <laughs> the breaker or whatever. You guys so, had a guy. I got a guy. Don't worry about it. Yeah, well, don't worry. So it come, he comes back, powers back on. Something goes wrong with Elijah's guitar. Like he's not getting signal. He can't play. At this point, I am exactly like Elijah was saying. I'm shut down and pissed off. So he's like, you know, Try to, and I'm like, fuck it, dude. I, I Tyler starts packing his shit. Yeah, I, I start undoing my symbols. I'm like, I'm done. Good, out of here. Chat. I'm out. So he's like, no, let's just play it. Let's just fucking play it. I'm like, whatever. Here's one of the cool things about this night, though, is that right across the street at the actual venue in Ventura. Um, it was the Ventura Fox Theater. Yeah. Uh, oh, who's, okay. it, was, uh, it was Ministry. Ministry the- was playing. Okay. So all these fucking metal Sweet. fans come into this bar, wall to wall leather, right? And we were like, oh shit. Like we're not metal, on, dude. These, are, these are our people. So we start ripping into our first song, which everybody's like, this is way too loud for this size of this room. Right. But it turned out to be one of the the most fun shows we played, oh, yeah. except for when a drunk asshole knocked over the speaker onto my drum set and glanced the side of my head, if that oh. shit would have hit me directly, I would have been, I would have died. Yeah. And Pat, though, yeah. to his credit, Pat got right in the middle of that motherfucker mm-hmm. and was like, what are you doing? And I was like, yeah, you tell him, Pat. Do it up, like, bro. You tell him, man. You tell him. <laughs> you fucking tell him. Yeah, then, God. Then, the narrative went like this. Tyler's putting his drums away. Ministry fans start streaming in. And Tyler goes, oh, shit. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. 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 Going clockwise. Clockwise now. And I'm just like, (laughs) I'm just like flipping switches. I'm like, how do I get? And then my amp finally turns on. I don't know what exactly happened. And we start playing. Yeah. And it wasn't even like, we didn't even say like, are you ready now? We were just like, yeah. Yeah, And got into it because we knew that we had to, you know. Halfway through the first song, the speaker falls on your head. I don't even see it, but Pat pulls it off. We finish the song. Um, we keep playing. It was, a, it, yeah, and it turned out to be a great show. I climb on top of a stool for a breakdown, and this was the other fun part. I climb on top of that stool, and, I, um, and I'm and i playing a breakdown at the end of 
uh, I think, give back to me or something. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize the stool swiveled. <laughs> 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 and we're we're like we are packed in yeah with leather clad fans and i hit it and i start to turn and a guy just wearing leather pants and a leather vest grabs gotcha. a stool and goes gotcha and holds it oh, while i play the breakdown yeah sweet ministry and I, fans and then i put my foot <laughs> on his shoulder <laughs> um, and do a full cock rock breakdown and um so the show ended up being really good um, and then we get down, we pack up, uh, we get paid, and we leave. And it's only afterwards that Tyler tells me, he's like, hey, remember when I used to play baseball and I told you that I got all these concussions? Um, I can't go to sleep for a while because if I go to sleep and I have a concussion, I could die. Yeah. And then he tells me about the speaker incident and I'll go, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. So that was <laughs> you, just, you just missed it completely in the moment? Yeah. That's the story of of the most rock and roll moment we've had in a rock and roll band.